Hi. In this video, I'll go over some of the advantages and disadvantages of building a shipping container home. A lot of people at some point wondered what are the advantages and disadvantages of shipping container homes. And the short answer is there are many. It would be hard to mention all the reasons of why shipping container home a good idea or not so good. But it will mention a few that might help you decide if you should build a house out of shipping containers. To make things clear, let's first figure out what is a home. In short, it's the place where one lives permanently, especially as a member of a family or household. Home is a safe haven and a comfort zone. A place to live with our families and pets and enjoy with friends. A place to build memories as well as a way to build future wealth. A place where we can truly just be ourselves. And if that's true, then it doesn't really matter what your house is built out of. Really, it can be built out of anything as long as it's comfortable and provides you some security. But, for the purpose of this video, let's only focus on the metal shipping container converted into a home. Versus a traditional stick-framed house you would typically find in the US and Canada. This video would be really long if I were to explain why most of the houses in the US are built out of wood. I will make a separate video explaining the reasons why. So why is the idea of building shipping container homes sound attractive to so many people? My personal opinion is that they are very rigid, stylish, and modern, young people have very little chance of owning a typical house, people feel safer in them, and one of the biggest reasons is people want to avoid mortgage payments. Shipping container homes are durable, cost-effective, and customizable. They can be more cost-effective than traditional housing. Container homes are often marketed as being environmentally friendly because you can build out of used shipping containers. I personally don't like the idea to build my dream house to end up with damaged siding. I would go with a new one-trip container for my house. So the idea of environment-friendly goes out of the window unless you plan to cover your container house with siding later. It could take you less time to build a house out of shipping containers. Some contractors can build a shipping container home in under a month. However, hiring a professional to build your container dream home can be pricey. If you have some construction skills, you could attempt to build a shipping container house with your own hands. There is plenty of information on the internet now to learn on the go. I think that the vertical corrugated metal siding looks really cool if painted in the right color. Shipping container homes have a few notable disadvantages. Obtaining building permits can be difficult. Permitting a shipping container house could be an absolute nightmare according to people who have done it before. As a relatively new phenomenon, it can be difficult to obtain the necessary permits to build your shipping container house in some regions. However, there are several places in the United States, including Texas, California, Colorado, and Oregon, and abroad, including China, New Zealand, and Costa Rica, that host shipping container homes and have regulations in place. Ask your local city planning office for more information about building codes, zoning restrictions, and permitting requirements for container housing. Shipping containers are not always eco-friendly. Many proponents tout container living as a great way to recycle old containers, but some home buyers prefer to convert new containers into housing. Used shipping containers are more eco-friendly, depending on the history of use. In my future videos, I'll do a full breakdown of why some people should never build a house out of a shipping container and why some people should. Building a shipping container house is a very hot topic today and I'll collect as much information for you so you don't have to spend hundreds of hours on research. I would like to ask you to help me grow this channel by liking the video, sharing it, and subscribing to this channel. It doesn't cost you much, but it will help with the YouTube algorithm. My goal is to make 100 to 200 videos per year. But without your love and support, that's not possible. Thank you so much and have a great day.